Hey girls, Kaylee here. So this is our very last Gossip Girl hairstyle, and this one is from Charlie from Blair's Baby Shower. I forget which episode that is, but um, it was really, 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 really requested, so I went ahead and took a shot at it. I tried to simplify it just a little bit so that everybody could do it. I hope you guys like it. I think it's really pretty. I like that it's really messy, but still very feminine and formal. I think that's the way that I like a hairstyle to be, so hope you guys like it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. The first thing we're going to do is a lot of sectioning and braiding and teasing to go ahead and get the hair ready for the hairstyle. First you're going to take a 2 inch section from behind each ear and then you're going to secure the rest of your hair out of the way if you want to. We're going to be braiding these two pieces and honestly I get so frustrated when I get extra hairs in my braid so I just go ahead and get them out of the way. But braid all the way down and then just secure at the end of the braids with a band. Then you can let your hair back down and part it on the side. And then you're going to separate the hair that's in front of your ears on either side and you're going to pin those out of the way because we're going to work with the hair that's behind them. And now we're going to work on teasing. You're going, to you're going to take a little bit of the hair that's right behind the part and separate it out of the way and then you're going to tease the hair that's just behind that. This is going to give us a little bit of volume at the back. If you like a lot of volume, you can do a lot of teasing. If not, don't. And then you can let the rest of your hair back down and pull your braids back out. And now we're going to start arranging the front of the hair, now that we've done all that prep work. You're going to go ahead and let the front of your hair down, and you're going to pin your fringe back if you want. If you have shorter bangs and you want to keep them out, you can totally do that. For me, with the longer layers in front, I wanted to pin them back. So you can just arrange that as you like it. And then you're going to take your braids and align them right behind the fringe, whether you've left it out or pinned it back. And you're going to pin those braids in place. I recommend pinning at a couple of various different points throughout those braids to make sure that they don't fall down because especially on my hair for some reason these braids tend to be really tricky so I pin them a lot. So the very last thing we're going to do is braid the back. What you're going to do first is grab the hair that we teased and split it in half. And I did this kind of funky braid. You're going to grab a piece of hair from the side like you would for a French braid. Grab a piece of hair from one of the two sections and then join it with the section on the other side. It's kind of like a French fishtail kind of thing, yeah. And then you're gonna repeat that on the other side by grabbing a section of hair, grabbing a little piece from one of your sections and joining it with the other. So just like that, the smaller pieces you take, the more intricate it will look, so that's totally up to you. But you're gonna continue that throughout the rest of the hair that you have right there. Once you reach the, the end of that hair that you have and you reach your hairline, you're going to go ahead and just fishtail down the rest of the hair. And if you have somebody that can fishtail your hair for you in the back, it makes it so much easier. Then you're going to take the teased hair, push it up, and pin it in place to make a little bit more volume. Grab any layers that are falling out and just kind of position them around in a way that you think is flattering and pin them in place. And then the very last thing you're going to do is loosen up the style just a little bit because her style was really kind of roughed up and I liked it like that so I went ahead and loosened mine up. If you don't want to, you don't have to though. But you're done.